Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are here on Submagic and I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this great app. So what Submagic does is it allows you to create viral shorts in seconds with AI. This allows you to create short form content with captivating captions, B-rolls, zooms, and even sound effects. Now down below, there will be a link you guys can click on to follow along with what I showcase within this video. So once you guys have clicked that, you should be taken to the same page that I am currently on. But first off, you want to go ahead and click try for free if you don't have an account already, or if you do, you can simply just log in. Then you should be taken to the dashboard of your account. First off, you want to go ahead and upload your video. So I have a clip of Alex Hamozi that I'm going to go ahead and drag in right here. I'll drop it and then it will upload. I can then obviously go ahead and change the language if I would like. For the most part, you'd probably just keep it on English. And then I'll go ahead and click upload. Once it's uploaded, you should be taken to a similar page to what I'm on. So first off, you want to go ahead and choose the style of text you want within your short video. So as you can see in the left here, there's a lot of options you guys can go and choose from. So they have a lot of popular options like Homozy's text format. So if I go ahead and play the video, it's a lot of people. there you go, it displays the text format. You can change it simply by just clicking one of the other text formats. So let's say I wanted to choose Devon, it will swap. There's popular ones like Mr. Beast, Iman's, and even Ali's as well. And the great thing with Submagic is that you can customize all these to your liking. So let's say you didn't like the color gray, you can change it to another color such as red. You can also change the size here, so pretty self-explanatory, and as well as the positioning. So if I want it above or below. And of course, if you weren't happy with any of these themes here, you can completely customize to your own liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Ali, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this down below a little bit, and then I'll add the size up. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm then now going to go ahead and have a look at captions. So what Submagic does is it goes through your video and it deciphers what is being said and then displays it on your clip. So if we go through it, everything should be pretty accurate. Submagic does a great job at deciphering what is being said. Of course, it is an AI tool, so it's not always perfect. So let's say there was a word that was misinterpreted. You can go ahead and click the word and change it if you would like. So let's say he didn't say and, I can go ahead and just simply remove it like so and it'll get rid of it. What I can also do is break some of these lines apart to make more lines. What I can go ahead and do is click the word where I want to break apart and then add add line break like so. Now what I can also do is add an emoji. For this theme that I'm currently using, which is the Ali theme, there isn't an option. But what I can go ahead and do is go back to styles and choose one with emojis. So as you can see, the Homozy one option has a little emoji in the top right, indicating that I can obviously use emojis. So I'll go ahead and swap to that, go back to captions, and then I can go ahead and add an emoji. Now again, Submagic automatically put in emojis based on what is being said within the text. So for this example, it says want to sell stuff. It comes up with a money bag because obviously you're selling something. So if I go ahead and play the clip, when they, when they want to sell stuff, as you can see, it has an animation and the emoji pops up. What I can also do to add on top of that is click the little music icon to the right there and then add a sound effect. So again, for this example, there is a money emoji. So I can go ahead and add a money uh, sound effect like so. So now that is added, I can go ahead and play the clip now and it should have the sound effect. When they, when they want to sell stuff, they talk about. There you go. And you can also adjust the volume of that sound effect. And again, you can do this for all the clips. Do keep in mind that you don't want to have too many emojis and sound effects because it does become excessive. And a new thing with Submagic that is currently in beta is you can add an auto cut. And it's again, it's pretty self-explanatory. It just cuts out the silent parts within your video if you do have any. So now I'm gonna go ahead and have a look at the B-rolls area. So what I can do here is add my own B-rolls. So if I go ahead and click the plus option to the left here, like so, I can choose to add a B-roll. I can click add, then I can search up something that I want to add. So let's say completely random, I want to add a waterfall. I'll go ahead and search that up. We then come up with some B-rolls that I can choose between. I'll click the first one, click apply. And then if I go ahead and play the video, it's a lot of people when they, when they want to as the B-roll. And that was a bit plain. So another cool thing that I can do is again, click on the B-roll and then add a transition animation. So there's a couple options you can choose from here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the vintage animation for demonstration, I'll click apply. And then if I play the video again, it's a lot of people when they, when they wanna sell stuff, they talk. There you go, it adds a vintage film transition effect. What I can also do is choose to add a GIF or an image. And obviously I can adjust this by simply moving the position and size of it. And if I wasn't happy with the sound effect that was added to that GIF, I can go ahead and change that. And of course I can adjust the volume. What I can also do is click the magic B-rolls option, which does everything for you. Again, it is AI, so do keep in mind that it isn't gonna be exactly to your liking. 
That's why I highly suggest you go through your clip and choose which B-rolls best suit each clip. And then finally, once you have done all that, you can go ahead and start to look to publish your short video. So what you can also do is add your own music. So I can go ahead and drag my own music here and of course adjust the volume. What Submagic also do is they generate a description and hashtags for your video. To be honest, the description isn't the best. I would much rather add my own and make my own hashtags. However, it is good for inspiration. And of course, if you wanted to maybe just use that, you could. You can also regenerate it, shorten it, and add a longer version of this description as well. Now let's say you are happy with everything you are done, you've gone through it, you can go ahead and click export in the top right. Now do keep in mind when you are exporting the video with a free plan, there will be a watermark in the top left that simply just says Submagic. You can remove that watermark by simply upgrading to a plan, which I'll now go through. So now we are on the plans page and we're presented with four different plans. So there is the trial, basic, pro, and agency plus. Now before we get into which is best for you, I do recommend you switch this little button here to the yearly option because you do save 20%. If I change it to monthly, as you can see, all the prices do go up. So if you did want to save money on top of the code that I'm also going to give you after I choose a plan, I highly suggest keeping it on yearly because you do save money. Now in regards to choosing a plan that's right for you, I do recommend going with the basic plan if you are happy with Submagic to start off. You get 20 videos per month, which is plenty of videos to create within a month. It does come at $16 per month if you are on the yearly option. If you are getting comfortable with Submagic and you're seeing great results from this app, you can go ahead and upgrade to the Pro option, which is definitely a big upgrade. Entirely depends on your situation. So let's say you were interested in a plan. You can go ahead and click the Pay Now option. Then once you are here, you'll obviously need to fill out some basic information. But to the left here, you want to go ahead and click Add a Promotion Code and then type in the code JACK. Simple, J-A-C-K. You'll then click apply and once it applies it will give you 10 percent off for whatever plan you have chosen so from choosing this plan here i have saved 48 usd so hopefully you have enjoyed today's tutorial on submagic i highly recommend checking out this great app as it is very useful and helps you create short form content very easily again there will be a link down below which will take you directly to submagic if you guys did want to go ahead and try this for yourself thank you very much for watching today's video and i hope to see you guys next time